Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is But a Window, and today we're going to be doing another Overwatch. You can see McCall's got 35 kills, an auto sniper locked onto that guy's face. Seem to know he's coming through the wall, but I'm not 100% sure about the wall hack yet. Uh, he's going to make his way over here. It looks like he's locking on to the guy over in Paul's as well. And yes, he's able to take him down as well. Alpha's going to peek out, he locks onto him. And it looks like Sonar, the final terrorist, is going to make his way out like a lemming and go down to the auto sniper also through the smoke. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This guy is blatantly cheating, and I like that he went out behind the smoke instead of without the smoke so that we can absolutely confirm he has either a, a wall hack or, um, well, in this case, it's a blatant aim lock. So, yeah, I mean, he did a good thing, but probably... If he wanted to win the round, it wasn't the best way to win the round, but it definitely shows off that this guy is cheating. What we're looking for now is if he is going to bunny hop or use any kind of anti-aim. And until that, I guess we're just going to kind of watch him lock onto everyone and take everyone out. No one's going to have a chance against him. Oh, it froze. There we go. I think that's from alt-tabbing prior. All right. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's actually just speed things up. Uh, I mean, he hops around or turns around or anything. Yeah, that, that looks pretty normal. Is he using a lag hack? That is... That is a lag hack. Or, I don't even know what that is. Okay, we're, we're going to the end of this. Screw him. Screw him. Uh, aim assistance. Evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance. Evident beyond reasonable doubt. I got no idea why it was so glitchy, but it was making me nauseous. So I'm going to have to go with evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for griefing, uh, you know what? We got bigger problems, insufficient evidence. Let's move on to the next case. All right, guys, here we are on case number two. It's the same exact map, Mirage. It looks like the suspect's got two kills, makes his way towards middle as a scout. Uh, some shots here. I can't really tell anything yet. Doesn't look like he's locking on anyone, but uh... Doesn't look like he's aiming on people through walls either. One guy coming up connector, he definitely heard it, he saw the flash. Going for the shots, does hit the headshot. Ooh, hits the second headshot onto Kiwi. And peeks out. Spots one guy jump across, re-peeking. And it looks like a nade's gonna come in and take him down. Don't think he knew the nade was coming, so that's usually a sign that he isn't wall hacking. And he probably... I don't know, those shots are pretty amazing, but... I'm gonna say that they were probably natural. They were just uh, nice little flick shots, right? I'm hoping. Looked like he kind of aimed on that guy through the wall a little bit. It felt like he knew he was there before he saw him. That being said, he is the mid guy, and where else are they gonna come from? Underpass, that's about it. Makes his way towards mid, takes the shot, not quite able to connect. You'd think at this point, if uh, he was using some kind of aim lock for the scout kills, that he would have locked onto that guy and got an easy kill right there, but that was not the case. I think that was natural shots. Natural aiming ability. The guy up close here, he sees his gun. Keeps taking shots, keeps missing. Able to tag him in the face? That looked like it was in his toe. Either way, going for the repeat here. Don't know if he actually saw him on his screen. He's very, very hyper. Uh, he does see his hand a couple times. Guy's finally peeking out. And he's able to take him down with a headshot. Salmon's going to take down Alpha and Kiwi. And the suspect is really confusing me at this point. He's so inconsistent. And yet it feels like he's using a wall hack at this point. Look at that. It looks like a wall hack to me. Didn't think it was at first. But it's looking more and more like it. And take down Kiwi here in middle with a headshot. One more guy underpass. He gets in with a headshot as well. And uh, look over here towards A main. Let's see. Nope. One guy up top here to the left. Let's see if he knows he's there. Looks like he's looking towards the ramp. I don't think he actually knows he's up there, even though his teammate's in sight. His teammate just now spotted him out. He took a shot. And Salmon's able to take down Calf. It looks like the suspect here is going to be rotating his way over here towards window. And now over to the B site where the last two terrorists are. It looks like they're going to try to commit to this. And the suspect is going to rotate back over towards mid. He is so hyper. 
sees this guy drop his gun, holds the angle, is able to take down Donkey with a headshot. Again, it's looking like all these things are hitting headshots even though he's nowhere near the person's head. Another headshot. What is going on here? Probably name one. Alright, now he's going to make his way over here towards the A ramp. His teammate took mid control, so... Let's see if he actually peeks out on it. Looks like he is going to. What's this ping? Hmm. 26. Throwing a smoke over here towards mid connector. He decides against it. And instead... Goes for the peak. Able to take down Calf with a headshot. Uh, one guy to the left, one to the right. He doesn't know which one he wants to shoot at, even though the other guy was obviously not a threat to him. And instead he just goes down. Alright, so I think what we have here is a very inexperienced player with wall hacks and an aim lock key. One that he wasn't using at the beginning, but as the game has gone on and he's missed more and more shots... He's uh, used it more and more. There's a headshot on Alpha, even though he was aimed chest level. Another guy pushing up over there to the left. Looks like he's going to try to peek onto him. And looks it pretty well. Not quite able to take him down, but you know what? It felt like he knew exactly where he was, so I'm pretty sure about the walls. And yeah. It will take down Calf. This was not a headshot. Imagine that. That's a new thing for him. I mean, he's got a 92% headshot percentage right now. Looking over here towards underpass. One guy is top mid. Well, actually, two of them top mid. Three now. And it uh, looks like he's going to bail on actually peeking that, which is a good idea. It's a hard angle to peek, especially if people are holding it. Smoke's going to come in and not really smoke off much, even though he does bail on it right there. Uh, there is one guy on the other side of that smoke, and actually the guy on catwalk has a bit of an advantage because of how that smoke is set up. If the suspect goes down on the ground level, he should be able to see his feet. Either way, it looks like Kiwi knows, ex or suspect knows exactly where Kiwi is, peeks onto him, and takes him down. One more guy on catwalk, and he's going to take the shot, not quite able to connect, gets shot from window, completely flanked, and caught off guard. All right, so minor disruption griefing. I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. As for other external assistance, I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. We didn't see any upside down views, automated jumping strips, or anything like that. Microwave division assistance, that looked evident beyond reasonable doubt. He was pre aiming people through walls. And while at the beginning I wasn't 100% sure, the second round he kind of aimed on that one guy through the wall on the left side, knew that guy was going to peek out, and it just persisted from there. Then all of a sudden he started hitting all of these shots, increased his headshot percentage from like not being able to hit the broadside of a barn to like 94% or something. So that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the third case. All right, here we are on case number three. It looks like the suspect here has two kills, 100% headshot percentage. And uh, well, they won the pistol round. That's good. Looks like he's trying to hop. Looks like he's keeping momentum. Takes a couple shots. Looks like Nautilus and... Uh, what's the other person's name? Heron is pushing up on him. He's able to get a headshot onto Heron, and honestly, it doesn't look that weird right now. Got that deagle, though. He can back out. One guy is on the ramp. He's not checking over to it. He does look to see if anyone's out. Doesn't spot anyone inside. He is checking everything, it looks like. So it does not look like he's walling at this moment. Suspect comes back up, goes back out, and <laughs> Nautilus is actually just kind of holding right there. Kind of waiting for his opportunity to see what he can do to take someone down. Now what is weird is, like I said, the CTs did win pistol round, and he decided to not buy anything on the second round. And just kind of see what he can do. Kind of gives the other team a little bit uh, more of a chance to win this round than they should have had, but it's okay. The suspect just has to finish off this kill inside, and then they're in a uh, then they got the round, actually. I thought it was a 2v1 because I thought they were still in person live on the terrorist team, but I was wrong. Cap's going to clean it up. And yeah, nothing too suspicious on that round, which is kind of surprising because when I came in, saw these got two kills and 100% headshot percentage. Uh, and actually, this game loaded up really, really quick. But maybe that's that new launch option I've been using uh, that they added. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, 
D3D or not, I don't know, DX. I'll make a video about it and post it, and it'll probably come out before this Overwatch. But it's uh, a very interesting command that increases performance by 40%. So I think everyone should try it out and see if it works for them. Also makes alt tabbing really, really quick. Looks like Albatross is up there, peeking out on him. Wagon peeks out on him. Takes a couple shots, not quite able to connect. Looks like his timing's a little bit off, but Goose is able to take one down. Goose is going to go aggressive and get taken down by Albatross. There are still three terrorists alive, one in here uh, in the White Halls. And looks like the suspect's sneaking up on him. Looks over there, but Albatross is out of the way just in time. Peeks out, and the suspect gets the Deagle headshot. I mean, he knew it was in there. Went to AFK, he's able to take him down, and now he's got the one versus one situation against Daisy. One versus one. What am I talking about? Three versus one! I can count. His teammates don't actually matter. Never mind, his teammates matter a lot. Calf is actually doing great. Five kills, just like the suspect here. And uh, all of them with the scout, I think. He's actually just sticking with that scout. Looks like Zigzag's got an auto sniper. I think this might be a bunch of cheaters versus uh, maybe non cheaters, but I don't know if the other team's not cheating. But this team is definitely suspicious. Either way, the suspect peeks out and gets absolutely obliterated right there. And we're on to the next round. Yeah, his teammates are running around backwards, so there's no, no reason why he wouldn't get reported. And he doesn't need to cheat at this point. Right now he's going to go sip some soup because I do think he probably is cheating. Oh my god, lag hack is nauseating. Is this the cool new thing lately, guys? Is this what Counter-Strike has uh, become? Just crazy lag hacks constantly? Suspect's able to flick over to Albatross. Uh, yeah, so he's getting reported. Suspect's ping is actually really high, but I think that's a lag hack with how it's so teleporting. It's like it's missing packets. It's a lag hack, right guys? Oh god, I'm gonna get epilepsy watching this. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm just gonna report everything, just because I don't want to watch this, and because I don't think he's hitting these crazy flick shots like that. That guy was on the other side of the wood. Uh, so that's wall hacks, and yeah, that that's... Good enough for me, guys. Good enough for me. Ugh. All right. Major disruption, aim assistance. That is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is also evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance. He was lagging all over the place. That is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the reason he was missing so many packets all of a sudden... That's because he turned on a form of lag hack. Anyways, guys, minor disruption griefing. I'm going to go with insufficient evidence. Hope you guys enjoyed these cases today. I'd like to know if like the if lag hacking is really like the big thing that's everyone's doing now because it seems like two out of three of these cases were using some crazy variant of the lag hack that is, oh man, nauseating to watch. But anyways, guys, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.